Here we go again. Red alert! Red alert! Interceptors immediate launch! Ground defense control, position rocket launchers. Shadow control. Moon base to shadow control. Go ahead, Moon base. Ground defense is in position. Interceptor spaceborne contact minus four seven. Roger. Firing range minus eight. Those retreating, giving chase. It smells. Moon base, tell your ground defenses to get nervous. Shadow control, three more UFOs approaching orbital reference. Three, one, eight. Decoys. Moon base, instruct the interceptors to return immediately. destroyed in the last week. Do you think they'll take the hint? Oh, first two under cover of sunspot activity, then three at ground level, now six in a decoy maneuver. All or nothing. Last fling. Do you think they give up? Colonel Lake, they didn't lose all those craft just to give up. Hmm. What worries me is, what will they try next? Coffee? Yeah, black. Two. You know, Al, I think I'm getting a bit old for this. Steve. Yeah? Uh... <sighs> Twelve more hours. And uh, home. Some other earth. Oh, great. Forty-eight hours in our natural habitat. Yeah, give me enough time just to mow the lawn. What? 
I said I'm going to mow the lawn. Will the following personnel report for combat training? Phillips, Robinson, and Regan. Never a dull moment. The show must go on. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Get now, baby. <coughs> Touche. My pleasure. You're off asleep, but it's been a long day. Oh, oh yes. Submit. No. Submit. No. Come on, it'll break. No. Oh. You should have broken it. That was a mistake. But you still like the killer instinct. Well, I'm a nice fella. Earth tomorrow? Yeah. Give my regards to the wife. See you in a couple of days. Yeah. Oh, and thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I think we'll stick to theory for a little while. <sighs> Bit formal for a chest. What are you doing in this gear? Straker's orders. All astronauts in waking alert until relieved. That's a bit unnecessary. From bed to battle in 128 seconds. What more does he want? Now, there are no ground defenses. He's not taking any chances. And you'll be pleased to know he wants five practice alerts a day until further notice. You'll have us living in that launching bay next. Don't even suggest it. Will the real James Regan stand up, please? Must be me. Hello, Jim. Hey, they uh, tell me you had a busy time up there. Dan Dare wasn't in it. How are you, Earthman? Can't complain. See you Thursday? Do sure thing. Cheers, Morgan. Uh -huh. You don't talk about those things, remember? I'm sorry. It was just that I couldn't uh, stop thinking. Hard time. You look exhausted. I'm fine. You're the nicest excuse for an early night I can think of. <laughs> the Thompsons. Thompsons? Lovely people. The Thompsons. What about the Thompsons? What about the Thompsons? Dinner. Tonight, the Thompsons, remember? Ah. Oh. Do we have to? It was your idea. Yes, but that was a week ago when I was a young man. Come on. You'll feel better when you've had a shower and a drink. In you go, Methuselah. How are you? Would you like a drink? Only if you bring it in, fair maiden. Yes, Master. Okay. But don't forget, the moment they bring out those home movies, you develop this terrible headache. <laughs> don't be so mean. You know how proud your cousin is of his photography. Yes, I know. But the films he makes, 
Take the last one, the courting habits of the British earthworm. I ask you to follow us kinky. <laughs> Chip, you are a fool. It's so nice to have you home again. We could always turn back and say we had a puncture. Nothing I'd like more, but we can't. We must go. Muriel specially cooked your favourite meal. Oh, no. Not again. I have no idea where it came from. There was a knock on the door, and when I opened it, there was nobody there. Just this package. I thought at first that it was the new face cream I'd ordered, but no, when I unwrapped it, it was this Ouija thing. Help me put the cards out, darling. Can't imagine who sent it. Oh, I know it's a lot of nonsense, but why don't we give horse in the mouth? I thought we'd try it just for fun. I thought we were going to see Albert's latest film about butterflies. Oh, no, no, this will be much more fun. Albert doesn't mind, do you, dear? We'll save yours for next time. Yeah, but it isn't actually finished yet. Still needs the commentary. Good, good. Well, now, you sit there, Albert, and Jean there. And Jim here next to me. Now, come on, Jim. Now, everyone has to put a forefinger... Oh, wait a minute. How low are the lights? Must have a bit of atmosphere in case we frighten away the spirits. Now, right forefinger on the top of the glass. Now, what happens now? Oh, yes, of course, somebody asks a question. Ladies first, you, Jean, you ask. OK, um, what are we having? A boy or a girl? Well, no. You, you'll have to rephrase the question. You see, we've got a yes card and a no card. So you ask, um, is the baby going to be a boy? And then if it says no, you know it's going to be a girl. What if it's twins? Yes, that's a point. Don't be difficult, Jim. Ah. Are we having a boy? It's a boy. I rather suspect there was a certain amount of cheating going on there. <laughs> now, come on, we must take it seriously. How would you ask a question? Yeah, yes, now, let me see now. Uh, oh, my goodness, look, I'll ask one while you're thinking. Uh, um, what is going to be the fashionable colour next year? S. E. A, C, green, N, C, E, C, and seance. How strange. Oh, come on. Somebody was pushing. Not me. I didn't even know how to spell it. Oh, well, come on then, let's have a go. Everybody hold hands. Oh, really, Muriel, it wasn't me. Oh, never mind. Now, come on. <sighs> Everybody concentrate. Is there anybody there? <laughs> Muriel. <laughs> Is there anybody there? Albert, take that pipe out of your mouth. Perhaps we ought to concentrate with our eyes closed. Right. Is there anybody there? 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 Is there anybody Are you all right, darling? Let me get you a brandy or something. No. No. I'm fine. 
What happened? I must... I passed out. Are you sure you're all right, Jim? Yes. I'm fine. Must have been more tired than I thought. Silly damn game. I don't know what came over me. Must have been that foul tobacco that Albert smokes. It was rather frightening. Oh, come on, love. Let's not make something out of nothing. You are the last person to believe in all that nonsense. Of course I don't. I was just worried about you. Just tiredness. Catching up with me, I'll be as good as new after a night's sleep. Jim, why are we taking the long way home? Sorry. Just wasn't thinking, I suppose. Do you want me to drive? Perhaps you'd better. What on earth? Why did you do that, Jim? Something in the road. by the lights. Yeah, it was lucky I saw him. Well, we can't just leave it. We'll drop it in at the police station. Jim. Yeah? If they can't trace yeah, the Yeah, here it comes. Can I keep him? He's so beautiful, and he'll be company for me when you're away. Uh, I'll have to think about it. I don't like competition, you know. Uh-uh. -oh. Who said cats were lucky? I think we'll call this one Jonah. Let's see what's in the toolkit. Get out, quick!
And then they gave us what could only be a medical. Spare parts? Transplant organs? No! I thought it could have been. No, it couldn't. It couldn't. Well, they would have taken me as well. You could have been an unsuitable donor. Wrong body tissue group. But why leave you alive? What puzzles me is how come they pick on a member of Shadow? Oh, that could be coincidence. Four other people were taken a short time ago on that road. A woman was left behind, apparently dead. Before she died, she had a chance to tell us what had happened. She had a weak heart. Who shall I assign to replace Jim? No one. You will report for normal duty tomorrow. That's all, Regan. Can't you see? The man's in shock. He needs to... We need. With all these attacks and the Venus probe coming in soon and that UFO still around, we need every astronaut available. That's all, Carol. Jackson. Commander. You heard what happened about Regan? Yes. Poor man. A tragedy. I have ordered him back to duty. Quite right. The only thing you could do. Well, it's nice that somebody understands. I'd like you to keep an eye on him, though, Doctor, just in case. I most certainly will. You look a bit under the weather yourself. Just a headache. But if it'll make you feel any better, I'll have a couple of aspirin. <laughs> okay. uh, they asked me to drop this in as I was passing. I was just coming to see you. Uh... I've got a couple of weeks leave due if you want to relieve Regan for a while. That's nice of you, Paul, but I think you'd be better off occupied. Come back to the office, will you? I want to go through the Venus probe escort procedure with you. Thank you, Doctor. Don't go. This is the result of the autopsy I carried out on the alien's body. The one we found after the moon base attack? It could shatter all our past theories. Go on. This is mostly conjecture. The head was badly damaged. I, uh, I may be completely wrong. Until more proofs are there. Oh, cut the caution, Doctor. We're not likely to quote you. All right, I'm sorry. As you're well aware, up until now, we've all believed that they were humanoid. A dying race, keeping themselves alive by transplanting our organs into their bodies. The alien I examined this morning, I think... His whole body was human. His brain? Even his brain. You mean he was one of us? Outwardly, yes. But if his brain... His brain may have been human. But it doesn't mean his mind was. But mind, brain, they're the same. No, 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 no. Let me try to explain. Oh, there was so much damage, it was almost impossible to tell, but... but... Certain sections of the brain seem to be missing. The parts that control emotion, creativity. Only the analytical, the logical remained. It's possible that these creatures are not humanoid at all. They just use our bodies, erase from the brain all knowledge, wipe it clean and reprogram it with or transmit to it their own thought patterns, their own intelligence. But why? Ah, <laughs> that I don't know. It could be they aren't capable of traveling in space. The form of life they take, I, I can't begin to imagine. They may have no 
physical being at all, and therefore need a vehicle, a container, our bodies. And so with spare part surgery, they're able to keep these uh, human computers alive and free from senility during their years in space. Exactly. Well, that's uh, unbelievable. So are UFOs. Yes. As fantastic as it sounds, they could be living computers. What are you doing here? I should report you, you know. This is a restricted area. Looks like we've got ourselves a massacre. Red alert, red alert. UFO leaving Earth, area PZ-17. Direction amber 4G, speed 1500. Moon base, UFO approaching, area amber 4G, ETA 387. Red alert. Red alert, interceptors immediate launch. ETA in area amber 4G minus 364. Instruct interceptors new course. Area blue, on two. ETA minus 197. The UFO will cross their path diagonally, spread out, maintain station 150 miles apart. Yes, sir. Some damage. Speed drop to 250,000. Sitting duck. Regan must get him. Regan? His wife's aboard that craft. I swear I don't know what happened. One moment it was right in my sights. Next it was gone. It was unfortunate that you had to encounter that particular UFO. The fact that my wife was on board made me more determined. I wanted that UFO. I'd rather she was dead than... It wasn't entirely your fault. I made a bad decision sending you back to duty so soon. But now I'm resting you. For a month. I don't want to be rested. I'm flying Venus Probe Escort tomorrow. There may be another chance. Regan, I can't afford vendettas. 
Colonel Foster will take your place. But I have to go. You are suspended for one month. That is an order. But That's all. Colonel Foster will be replacing James Regan until further notice. Inform all departments. Dr. Jackson? Jackson? I have just relieved Regan from duty. Tomorrow morning, I want a full physical and psychiatric report on him. So, that's where you've got to. Oh, is it yours? My wife's. Well, it would have been. We found him in the road, just before, just before the UFO. You're right, Jim. Just a headache. Well, how's show business? There's no business. Well, hardly. Signature play. They've just finished the Rebels of Santo Domingo, and there's a dog food commercial on stage four, oh. and a script for your approval. It's a period piece about World War II. World War II, huh? Well, I think I'll leave this until Miss Elan gets back, let her handle it. Right. Oh, Miss Holland, I haven't had a chance to thank you yet for filling in here. No need. It makes a break from Section 9. Oh. How is Colonel Blake? Oh, he's the same. I'll give him your regards. Yes, do that. Well, I suppose as head of the studio, I better show my face. Stage four, you say? Yes, sir. How's Jim Regan taking it? He's taking it. Jim, what are you doing here? It was terrible about G and I. Don't know what to say. If there's anything I can do. You okay? I'll take you back. Now wait a minute. Now wait! Ah!
Oh, Jim. Sorry about... Yeah. You're late. Got held up. Wait a minute, I thought Colonel Foster was supposed to be taking your place. The order was cancelled. I should check. You know what Straker is? Straker's orders. I should still check. Seeing it's you. Good luck. Jim's taking it. Yeah. She was a nice girl. Hmm. Interceptor pilots, stand by to escort Venus. There's Foster first. cutting it fine again. Well, he's probably having a quick workout in the gym. So don't worry about it. Hmm. Interceptor, stand by. Three minutes. Ah, I'd better report. Yeah. Hey, Jim, I thought Paul was taking your place. The order was changed. I wasn't informed. Last minute decision, Paul was taken ill. I'm oh, sorry, Jim, I don't doubt your word, but I must follow procedure. Hello? Operations room? Captain Minto here. I'd like to speak to Major Heath. Interceptors, immediate launch. Dr. Jackson. Jackson? The medical report I asked for on Regan. It hasn't come through yet. I haven't been able to contact him. Nobody seems to know where he is. Locate Regan. He is to report to Dr. Jackson at once. Colonel Foster replacing him? Yes, sir. But he said you'd cancelled it. I want to see you first thing tomorrow, Morgan. I don't make orders, I have them ignored. Yes, sir. Moonbase. Moonbase? I want to talk to Captain Regan. He's escorting Venus probe in, Commander. Where's Colonel Foster? The Colonel's not on Moonbase. Contact Regan. Find out what the hell he's playing at. Yes, sir. Regan? Come in, Regan. Regan, come in. Regan's flying. I thought you grounded him. I did. He's broken radio contact. He's never disobeyed orders before? Yes, that's what worries me. Find Foster. What, is he on moon base? No, he isn't. He's here somewhere. Captain Regan lands. I want him placed under close arrest and brought back here. Yes, sir. God almighty. Paul, what happened? Regan. He was like a madman. Why? Why did he do it? I don't know. I tried to reason with him, but he was out of his mind. Like a wild animal. Did he say anything? No, nothing. Nothing at all? Well, I just kept making noises. Like a cat. A cat. Commander, there is a cat. It belonged to Regan's wife. He said he found it close to the UFO. Something else, Commander. When he picked it up, he suddenly developed head pains. Jackson. Jackson. That human computer theory of yours, Doctor, could it apply to an animal? Well, without researching... Is it possible? The brain structures... In 
entirely different, but uh, I suppose... Never mind that. Yes or no? Yes, but you must understand... I'll get the building searched. Hold it. Let's make sure it's still in the building. Get me Miss Holland. Miss Holland? Yes, I did. About half an hour ago. Trajectory. Interceptor 3 on collision course, moon base. I repeat, collision course, moon base. They're using Regan to destroy moon base. Instruct interceptors 1 and 2. Pursue and destroy interceptor 3. Say again, sir. You heard me correctly, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Interceptors 1 and 2, destroy. Repeat, destroy interceptor 3. Something's wrong. No power. Same with me, nothing. Find that animal. We'll never find it in time. Try. Wait a minute. The dogs. That's it. Get onto it. <laughs> 